this is the first weekend after the consumption voucher has distributed and we're now in Puntong. But we can see that there are not much people here in Puntong by 1 p.m. So today we're not going to see how people use their consumption voucher in big shopping malls. But we are going to an industrial building which is a special building located in Puntong. And it, has, it is a 12 story and it is called the Camel Paint Building. wave of the pandemic has been dramatically affecting the retail industry, especially the small local businesses, such as spending of evening dining services, and most of the families were self-quarantined at home. Shops were closed as they could not afford the high rent. And we now arrived at the Camel Paint building, and there are lots of people queuing here, and they're going up to the block three, which sells goods and in different floors just like those big shopping malls something special here is there are people distributing you some leaflets so that you can find the things that you would like to buy on which floor and besides you could also see some discounts on different shops actually many shops inside were closed due to the low count of people during the pandemic and let's see how they're doing today we're now on the sixth floor and we can see many people around and most of the shops have opened and you can see off my left I know there is also a toy shop that has been closed since December and hopefully it's will reopen today and let us have a chat with him about how the pandemic affects his business. With the 10,000 consumption voucher, more shops have joined and introduced different payment methods such as Octopus, Tab and Gold, Alipay, and WeChat Pay. They will also provide discounts for products to attract customers. And this could also be one of the reasons why Nelson reopens his shop on this special occasion. Although the government said that the expiry date of the consumption voucher was three months later, but people have been long awaited to go out and make purchases. <laughs> We are now at Holland Bakery and this shop has been open since the pandemic and until now they were still open and there are lots of people queuing up there and they're doing good um, sales here. So this bakery was opened by a young millennial and normally Tuesday will be the rest day for his shop. But there is a notice saying that the physical shop will stay open and they are going to extend their operating hours on every Tuesday so that customers could buy their cake. It's around 5pm now and the queue is just getting longer than the afternoon. We see couples, families and working groups could finally go out for a walk instead of sticking to their homes. So leaving the Camel Paint building, we will pass through the most famous shopping malls in Kuntong, 8pm which are selling more high-end products. So it is obviously a lot more people here carrying bags and goods they brought from different shops. And we are glad to find those small businesses could also benefit from the scheme and reopened after months. And I also find that people look happier and less stressed today. So we are now leaving Kung Tong and hopefully we can see the number of cases is getting lower and people are returning to a normal life soon. Stay safe.